Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we're gonna finish this belt tensioner which means today we're gonna make this assembly and we're gonna see if all the parts are fitting together. So this is how it should look at the end. First let's open a new a new SOLIDWORKS document and this time we'll select here assembly and we'll have to browse for all the parts that we created until now so we'll have to select them, these are from the last tutorial so we should have one arm shaft, one base one bushing, one collar, collar one pulley arm, one pulley shaft one pulley and one square nut. The other components we're gonna import them from the library. Select here open and then click once for each of them to import them here and we forgot one of them. I'm gonna import it just in a second. Let's make this plain white. Okay the base should be the one that it's fixed so right click on this one float and right click on the base and select here fix okay and now let's import the other component go to insert insert component exist existing part assembly go here to browse and we have to insert this straight grease fitting and select the assembly open we already made this uh, straight grease fitting as an assembly so we're gonna import it as an assembly in this document if you don't have this one go and follow the not the last tutorial but the one before the last and you'll find how how to make it Ok, let's start the assembly. First we'll select this face from the... Actually not that one, this one, from the pulley arm. With this one from the base. Select here, concentric. Ok. We want this to be... We want this face to be here. So select these two faces, select here, coincide and select here reverse click here yes and then close it it's saying that it affected that concentric that we just made it's, no, it's not a problem for now so ok let's insert the shaft this will be the shaft for this select these two faces and select here concentric and we want this face to be on this other side so we can make these two holes also concentric let's go back here right click on this concentric made select here edit feature or you okay let's go ahead with this for now and select here to reverse the direction press ok and ok the other thing you could have made was right click on it and we can see right here flip, flip made alignment and was going to do the same thing and now let's select these two faces and select here also concentric okay and now let's do the same with these two faces select here concentric Make sure that the longer part right here we can see this edge is not point uh, actually it is pointing to the arm and not like this. So right click on this one and select again flip mate alignment. Alright. And now select this face with this one and select here coincide. Okay. And I'll have to insert this bushing, so select the face from the bushing with the one from the pulley, select here cons concentric, and then select these two faces and select here coincide.
Okay, that's good. And now we'll have to insert the shaft. So where is it? It's right here. Select the shaft, select this face from the bushing, select here concentric. And now make sure that this hole is on this side and not on the other side. And now let's select, let's drag it out. Select this face with this one from the arm and select here also concentric. And I'll have to reverse here just like this. We want both of them to be like this. Okay, now let's insert this color. To do that, we'll select this face with this one from the shaft, select here concentric. And now let's drag it a little bit outside. We want to be able to see this face from this hole. Select them both and select here also concentric. We'll have to reverse this direction. We want it like this. And now let's insert this uh, straight grease fitting in, inside this hole right here. To do that, we'll have to select first this, uh, actually one of these faces from the arm with this face from the from this part and select here also concentric and now let's find it it's on the position if it's not on the position and you find it with the head on the other side right click on the on this mate and select here flip alignment okay let's drag it outside for a little bit and now select this face with this one and select here coincide Okay, and now this is almost finished. Let's see what, what components we have left. We have this nut and we have to import a few other things. Okay, let's import the bolt for now. So let's go to design library, toolbox, add in now. For the bolt, we'll go to metric system, to bolts and screws, hex head, we'll select this bolt, we'll drag it and we'll try to place it in this hole, perfect, the size should be M12, the length should be 70, the thread length also 70. You can select here to see the how you want to see the thread, cosmetic or this one, I'm gonna keep this one, press ok and we only need one bolt okay and now if we move this the bolt is moving along that's why we wanted to place it in this hole because the mates will be automatically added okay and now we have to import the washer so like i said in the last video we're gonna go to this other system this time and we'll go to washers lock and we'll get the re regular one drag it out and here i found that the this one is the right size so make sure that you select this one press ok and we only need one of them select this round face with this edge and select here concentric now we'll have to drag it outside if you cannot see it go here select it and these arrows should appear if you don't have these arrows if they don't appear so you can drag it down right click on this arm make this one uh, actually select here change transparency and then you'll be able to see it inside this arm then make sure you select it and you drag it down and then don't forget to change the transparency back for this arm all right and now we'll select this face with this one and select here coincide now we'll have to put this square nut on this bolt to do that we'll select around edge like this one 
and the face from this washer and select here concentric of course we want it to be the other way so select here flip mate alignment drag it down select this face with this one from the washer and select here coincide and now this is rotating and everything is assembled now we'll have to import a few more things like actually three of them so go here we'll go back to the metric system go to bolts and screws set screws socket and as i said in the last video we're gonna use this one so left click and drag it outside the size should be m8 we have one of them with length 10 and two of them with length 20. First we're gonna import the one with length 10. Press OK and then close it. And I'm not quite sure where this one is going to, to go in which of these three holes. Because here we have two holes which are the same. Actually all of these three holes are the same. So I didn't know in which hole, in which hole, but I'm gonna place it in this one because if we put the one with 20 in length here, it's either going too deep and is touching this part, or it's gonna stick outside too much and it's not going to look very good. So the small one will go in this hole. So like this face. Okay, let's make this part visible again. Ch so right click, change the transparency. And now we'll select this face with this one from the hole, select here concentric. And we need this the other way around. So select here flip mate alignment. We cannot see it anymore. So let's drag it outside just like this. And now we want this to stay right there and uh, to be like in the middle of these two parts to catch them both. To do that we'll select this face, this face with this one and just a second so these two faces and select here this mate distance. And here is the distance. We're gonna make this distance 14 millimeters. This is the distance we can go here and we can see we have more choices here, but we're gonna keep this one for now and make here 14 millimeters. Let's see how it's going to look. If not, we're gonna change it to another dimension. So right click on this shaft and select here change transparency to take a look inside. And we can see that it's almost touching it which is not good so we we'll have to change it a little bit. Go to the last mate we just made, right click on it, select here edit feature. And here instead of 14 let's make it 16. And we can see that it's better. We can also see the hole now is not going past the hole, which is good. Press here OK and OK. Let's change the transparency for this color also. We want to see if it's good. Yes, and it is. Perfect. Let's change the transparency back for this one and for this one. And I'll have to insert the other two. The other two will have the same dimension, so not the same as this one, but the same in between them. The same size here, but the length will be 20 this time. I think on the drawing was 22, but we don't have 22 there, so we're gonna use 20 instead. Okay. And now press OK. And one more. 
we need two of these. Now let's assemble them. Select this face with this one, select here concentric, change here the direction. Let's drag it outside. For these two we can make a simple mate, like selecting this face with the face from the arm and select here tangent because they are not sticking outside and they are not going too deep. We can right click on this shaft and select here change transparency and we can see that they are perfect. Let's change the transparency again. And for this one we'll have to do the same thing. First select this face, then select the face from this base, select here concentric, flip the alignment and we cannot drag it outside, it's no point. Select this face with this one and select here tangent and it will automatically came, come out. Okay, and this should be all the components and all the parts that we needed to make and to import. Now this is moving as it should be. If we want to see if this pulley is moving, it's actually moving. But to make it easier, you can right click on this arm, select here fixed. And we can see that this is also moving. Don't forget to make this float again. Okay, and this is it. If you want to, to make this so it's not colliding with the base or it's not going like rotating like this, you can apply another mate, like you can limit the motion of this. But we're not gonna do this because we have no dimensions. I have another tutorial. If you want, you can search on the channel so you'll find it. This is the tutorial for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.